to take a long, long time and take lots of land in countries, uh, we can start to do those selections here faster, and we can more quickly then take those trees that we think are the best candidates and send them to different countries from the United States all around the world. And what that happens is, is we can try to make the breeding possibilities of developing new trees going to countries faster than ever before. And the other benefit is, as those new trees get into country, we have the opportunity to do every one, two or three years release new varieties back into those countries following those same, same types of streams. So though breeding cycles that can take decades are now going to happen even faster, and because of the pipeline of this material coming from the United States to countries like Indonesia, we can then start to release new varieties in a more fast way than we haven't been able, been able to do before. And that's what we can actually do here in this greenhouse. So we have all the young trees growing up, uh, and somewhere in this tree could be the future clone that's going to help all the farmers in Indonesia. And this is a very exciting opportunity. Not only can we grow these trees up, but we question. So how do we do it faster? So using marker-assisted marker, marker assisted selection. So in the past, if you had to cross a few trees with cacao, and then take that young tree, you had to put it out into the field with many, 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 many possibilities. Grow those up for a number of years, three or four or five or six years, and then from those, make the selection in the country to then put into a, a larger trial, a, sorry, a smaller trial that was only 100. And that you have to grow up for five or six years, repeat it again, and then do it multi-location all over the country. Those steps of getting it to the fewer trees and putting it into different locations in the country are still needed. But that first step of where we have to plant out many, 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 many trees in the country and let it grow there to try to find out which are the best possibilities, we can do that here by selecting for traits that we know are going to fit with certain different types of characteristics. We also have a large data science database with all the trees and the performance and their characteristics in different countries over the, around the world, including from our research station on Solomason. And we can see what are the characteristics of those trees that are already performing well in the country. And do those characteristics of those trees match what we have here in the green? So then we can have more confidence that when we send our best trees to Indonesia for doing those subsequent trials and sending them out to different locations in, in, in the country to see if they actually grow well, that we get more confidence in the ones that we're sending. So it's like a game of cards, right? Rather than trying to see all, not knowing anything, uh, the cards, you can know, oh, these are the best cards that I have. I want to send those up. So mix them up.